It's almost as if you gave a pen to an oil lobbyist and wrote down everything that they'd want. Much of that was in this bill. We are looking at reducing big oil's royalty rates to the public, slashing interest fees. For people following at home, if you are a member of the American public, if you are a taxpaying citizen, you are part of the ownership of our public lands. And when an oil company decides to lease that land, they are supposed to pay a royalty to the public. What does HR1 do? Slashes that royalty rate so that there is very little payback or investment into the American people and many of our programs. In this bill, Republicans are squarely on the side of fossil fuel companies. It makes it harder for communities to fight big oil when they don't want them drilling in their own backyards. In, it also threatens our public lands and allows anyone to stake a mining claim on our public lands for less than $10 an acre, even if they haven't discovered any minerals. And despite the fact that more than 40% of Americans live in counties hit by climate disasters, this bill prohibits agencies from even considering climate change when deciding whether or not to issue a permit to a drilling company. None of these things are going to lower our costs at the pump. None of these things are going to actually reduce our utility bills.